Hello everyone, I am Priyanka, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science, Christ College Autonomous, Irinyalakuda. Theory of Computation, also called TOZ in your terms, is one of the toughest subject that a student is saying to grab. But with my lectures, I will provide you easy and tricky methods to grab this in a very efficient and perfect manner. So, first of all, what is TOC or what do you mean by theory of computation? Always you know, maths is the background of the computer science. So, how we can connect maths with computer? That is done by TOC or theory of computation. How maths is being linked to computer? That is every max problem how the computer do is said by theory of computation so whatever theory of computation machines do that is only a computer science field can do in theory of computation we will study about four machines that will gradually we will move into the present day computer so first machine we are going to see is the finite automata before going into the theoretical concept i will first will i will deliver you with the practical concept then only you will understand the terms in the definition of the finite automata first of all we see the first finite automata that is the deterministic finite automata deterministic finite automata also called dfa so what is deterministic finite automata in deterministic finite automata you all know computers are for input output processing so in dfa machine the memory is like a tape that is every input is coming is fed like a tape which cannot be saved that is we can see and then go so more clearly in deterministic finite automata there is no memory we can just see and then go in practical sense to give you more insight dfa is like a switch electrical switch which which you are oning and offing that is there is a signal coming if the signal is yes you will get the output if it is no you will not get any output that is on or off if you are if you have current supply you will get the fans on if you have no current supply then your fan will be off that is the preliminary concept of deterministic finite automata we are seeing computer or machine will respond to that if you are not seeing anything computer will respond likewise that is deterministic finite automata so inputs are fed like this and there is a machine to check whether your input is correct or not that is the dfa dfa will check one by one i already said we are seeing then bypassing we will check a if it is on in your machine or that is correct for your input for example if your fan puts on by three a's the dfa will on the fan otherwise it will not on the fan okay this is the preliminary concept of deterministic finite automata you will you will get the more concept when you move into the practical problem first of all first problem is this is the set symbol set w such that w element of 0 plus 1 whole star and w ends with 0 0 
so what it is saying you are feeding w means string the string which you are giving as input this input contain 0 plus 1 whole star means this w can contain zeros or ones or its combination for example 0 plus 1 whole star contains 0 0 it can contain 1 1 it can contain 0 1 0 1 it can contain that is any infinite combination of 0 plus 1 whole star it can contain okay and we are defining a condition that if your system must take it as an input that string must end with 0 0 that is you are feeding a w and it ends with 0 0 your machine will be on otherwise your machine will be off i am defining a machine such that i am giving i can give any input if it ends with 0 0 it will say on otherwise it will say off so how we can define it by many methods we can define it i am showing the easiest method that is the transition diagram method transition diagram is nothing but we are representing this condition into the machine by a diagrammatic representation for example the strings ends with zero zero though so the condition is every machine has a start condition this is given by the first circle every machine to be started must have electricity supply that you all know so every machine to be triggered or to be on must have a start condition that is the first circle or the start state okay next one is the condition that is 0 0 it can have any numbers in the prefix or it can any numbers in the beginning but the it must ends with only 0 0 so first condition you must check that last 0 is coming so only one zero not it must end with zero zero so first zero last zero must be checked and one more zeros that is we must have a pattern like that it will ends with zero zero so we are giving or we are representing only the last two bits or we in dfa transition diagram we will represent only the conditions which or rules which are given so here the rule is ends with 0 0 so in the prefix prefix means what in the front we can have any bits but it must ends with 0 0 so the last state end state is marked with double zero end state must be marked with double zero so the pattern is like that i can give any input for example so here we have this is the input string so we have drawn the dfa for the last two zeros but we have not represented this zero or one that is prefix can be any string coming for that i will represent like that so to bypass a condition or to uh, for not checking any condition you can mark it as a self loop that is it can be it can be bypassed for checking it present or not it does not bother about the machine for example here 0 1 1 0 does not ma make meaningful sense in the machine only the meaningful pattern is the last 0 0 so i make it as a self loop that is 0 comma 1 so in when the machine becomes on any zeros or ones can be coming but when it ends it must end and through the transition what 0 0 must be ending okay in next uh, when we see for example if this is coming this is coming 0 then 1 also 0 0 is coming so the machine will check for first 0 it will it can go here wise or it can go this 
no so here the zero is not the correct that is the main error with the students make that is when we are bypassing the condition we cannot make here the zero and also here also the zero so here zero cannot be made that is mean by deterministic we must be determined in each and every condition so here one can be bypassed that is one occurs or not is not the pattern so check that zero is coming zero here comes here and next one is coming we have not said about the one so one again i will say one can be bypassed we are looping with the one that is one can one occurs or not is not a problem one can be bypassed next also zero is coming but that is accepted until here but that is an error because we want two consecutive zeros so that if one zero is coming how many zeros we are repeating or not it does not make any sense for example zero one zero zero okay here we have three zeros but here also we have two zeros so this machine will be saying yes because it ends with zero zero so for example look here it is one here first zero is coming that machine transited to the next state here it is one one is looped it is in the current state next zero it is coming it is gone to here again zero zero it will say yes so that is zero one zero 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 it ends with zero zero then look into it it is ending with zero zero so consider only from the back end when you are writing the rule whether in the prefix any string it can be there you look into only the suffix because it is ends with zero zero look into the suffix it ends with zero zero so this string must be accepted so look into this zero we are transiting to the this circle means we are accepting the correct pattern and we are moving to the checking for the next pattern that is called what mean by this circle transition means accepting the pattern and if we get the correct pattern we can move into the next pattern if we are not getting the pattern stick on to that pattern that transition or that state itself that is if you get the correct input you can move to the output otherwise stuck into that state so check for this zero we are moving to the next one we are looping here that is we are not moving to any new state because first pattern is only matched here next zero we are moving to the next then zero zero so zero zero but look here it ends with zero zero that is correct but when you are giving here zero 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 one zero sorry zero one zero that is here zero is accepted one is looped again zero is accepted so whether it matches with your question that is zero zero no it's not the correct string but your dfa is accepted so this machine is not accurately matching with our pattern so we must modify it how we can modify it because it is accepting in the end with even number of zeros but here we are checking for only odd number of zeros so this pattern is not correct because it is accepting the odd number of zero that is zero one zero is accepted how we can modify it so i will say that when here comes one that one is the problem here here one comes then zero come it is accepted so do not loop here one because if one we loop here we are checking only for the odd number of zero so better to backtrack it backtrack it means 
move to the previous state so when one comes here move to the previous state and then again check for zero zero then you are system will accept the correct string for example look into this zero then one comes again come here again zero so a sys machine will accept only when it reaches the final state so this string is not accepted again i will say zero one zero zero one this string as you already know it must not be accepted so how we can do that check it zero one zero zero it is accepting this string so how we can modify again the earlier concept bring into the first state that one is the problem so to make it correct bring into the first state so again check for that string zero one zero zero one that is zero one zero zero one so that string is not accepted so that is the working of the or how we can draw a transition diagram with this string that is ends with zero zero if it is zero coming here you can better loop it because any number of zeros can be preceded for example i have already said zero one zero 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 n number of zeros it is accepted because see any number of zeros can be end because it's zero zero so already you will have a doubt how we can draw this diagram like this which i have drawn so i will say a simple trick which you can follow so that you can draw this diagram in very efficient manner however the complex the problem is the first trick is i already said if the two zeros here put two zeros if here is two zeros put two zeros and in the front of the first zero put the circle in the next zero also put the circle and here it is and put the third circle okay so it is zero zero so put two arrow zeros and fill it with circles so again i will repeat the two zeros here put zeros in the above of the arrows and fill it with the circles so we get the three circle first circle is the starting state now we have to look into the not accepting states that is if one comes here what will do one comes here come to the frame next here one comes come to the frame what about here one comes here one comes no problem we can loop it because it does not change our output uh, prefix any one can be done no problem in the output but intermediate ones you must be taken care of if it can be bypassed no problem but in in this condition it cannot be bypassed because it will affect the output so this is about the first problem how we are drawing this w element of 0 plus 1 whole star w ends with 0 0 this is the first dfa you can understand and master how we drawing the dfa one by one examples which i will see you in the next lectures thank you